Hello, ladies! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Welcome to the Craft Shack. Um, this is my name is Michelle Reed. This is my design group. Um, I have something different planned for us today, and I'm so excited. So I had this idea in my head, and I've been actually planning to do this for a while, but different things have come up. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a floral candle holder. So it's going to be a little bit different, actually a lot different than the glam candle holders that um, I made before. So I'm going to show you what we're going to need. You're obviously going to need your glue gun and or and or a glue pot. This is getting hot. Okay. Well, I got that going. My glue pot going. So hopefully that'll heat up pretty soon. Got it on high. Um, you're going to need a tall candle holder. I got this at um, Hobby Lobby, 50% off. And I must have taken the tag off because I don't see it on here anywhere. So we're going to start with that piece first. You're going to need some instant green super moss. So it's a, it's a moss mat. Um, and that way you can cut it and shape it however you want. Don't get the loose moss. Um, it's going to make a super mess. You are going to need a big candle. This is an outdoor LED electronic flickering weather resistant candle and it even has a timer on it. Um, now I will be, this was $17.99 at Hobby Lobby. I also got this 50% uh, off. So um, the number for this candle is 402644. Um, and the number for this moss is 744581. This is $20, but it goes a long way. So you're going to need some floral pins. Um, I get these at Hobby Lobby in a big old bag. Um, the number, let me see, I'm almost out of these, but I bought a new bag. 787499. They're $5.99 for the whole bag, and it's lasted me a long time. Okay, then I got two of these round uh, styrofoam. Uh, they're $3.49 a piece. They're 5.8 inch. The number for this is, uh, I think it's W61WSBHL, or you can try 37143. So this is what we're going to put our inside our candle inside and this is what we're going to attach our florals to okay and I got a bunch of flowers in some greenery um, so we're gonna have lots to play with I'm not going to use any ribbon okay no ribbon today I know what what you say she's not using any ribbon whatever shall we do <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pan down a little bit so you can see. Uh, I'm not going to pan down too much. I'm just going to point it downwards a little bit so you can see my whole table. Um, I'm not going to zoom in because this is rather tall. Oh, <laughs> I had it upside down. That's why. Um, so the smaller end goes at the bottom. Nope, that is this. That is the big end. Okay. So this was actually $30, and I got this at Hobby Lobby. The number for this is 171-7974. Um, you can paint it if you want. Um, you can paint it different colors, like a pale blue, or a lavender, or yellow, or something like that, or white. Um, I'm just gonna leave it rustic. Um, I think it's gonna be really pretty that way. I'm gonna set this over here. So, let me get out my tools. You're going to need some um, clippers, some scissors. We might need some needle nose pliers. Not sure yet. Um, I don't know if I'll need anything else over here or not, but if I do, it's just all right here. So, as you can see, all my tools. I like to have everything right at my hands. And it looks like a mess, but it's actually really not. It's organized. It's an organized chaos. That's what I'm telling you. Okay, so I got two of these because I wanted them to be really thick so I can put the um, 
uh, I can't even think right now. The poker things. <laughs> Floral pins. <laughs> Inside this. So we're going to also, we're going to glue it first and then we're going to put floral pins inside. However, I want to take this first. See, it's too big for this one. I'm going to take my garbage can out here and I hope everything doesn't fall out like it is. So I'm just going to take my scissors. We're going to rough roughly scrape out the inside, but I'm going to do this in my trash can because it's going to make a mess. Okay, so bear with me. I'm going to make sure, because you got to put moss around it as well. Okay. Alright, I know this kind of makes a loud noise, but No. Okay, a little bit more. And it doesn't matter if it gets too thin because you're just going to be putting flowers inside of it. I had this idea, and I actually kind of found this on Pinterest because I was looking, I was wanting an idea um, that. I could use for a candle holder. Yeah, let me take this out. Mm. This might be having something to do with it. Um, but I was looking for something. I'm like, I want to make like a spring candle holder with flowers. But I'm not really sure how. And I had this idea in my head. The way I wanted it to look. And I just um, typed in on Pinterest. Spring or floral, or it was either spring or floral um, candle holder. And I found one, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty. That's a neat idea. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this off. It's just floral. Okay. Take the garbage out. All right, a little bit more. We don't want to make it too thin because then we don't have anything for the flowers to hold on to. Um, and we don't want this to break. We still need the edge to... Oh, now that I'm thinking of it. Hmm. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me do something. I'm thinking of something. Because I don't want to keep putting too much of that in there. See, it makes a mess. So, it's really not taking off a whole lot. I have an idea. So I'm gonna stand up for this piece. So I might put this piece on, because I don't want this hole to be too big. And then I'm going to pan this up so you guys can see. I knew that was going to be really tall. Okay. So I don't want, I'm going to glue this on here because I don't want this um, hole to be too big because then it's going to fall down here. So I'm going to glue this first. I'm just going to put some, you're not going to be able to see this, so I'm just going to put some glue around this edge right here. Okay. And I'm just going to put this, going to put it in upside down. Okay, I'm just going to hold that like that. Now what I can do is once this holds, I'm going to put a little bit more glitter on the inside of the lip so it adheres. Okay, and this is kind of crooked. There we go. I want that sitting flat. 
Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. I'm going to let that sit flat. There we go. Just when it's a little bit cooler, you can get the glue drips off. So you don't burn yourself. Okay, so we got that piece on. So I'm going to continue. I'm glad I thought of that because I was like, oh, if I do that to this one, I'm uh, not going to be able to get, that's going to go way over the top and that's going to look kind of funky. So I put that on first. You want one scraped and one not scraped. Or you can just get a candle where you don't have to do this. But I bought my candle after the fact, after I bought all this. So I didn't realize it was too big. So, put this all. Buy a candle that fits inside the hole. Okay. There we go. There. Almost done. I'm going to kind of get these edges straight up. Okay. It's garbage inside. This pissing me off. I'm going to have to vacuum this weekend. Okay. All right. So, now I have that. It'll fit right in there. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this, since this is on here now, but I want a little added extra oomph. I'm going to take it and put some glue on the inside. Okay, so you guys can see this. And you can put quite a bit because you're not going to see this because we're going to cover this up with the other one. Now, because this hole, uh, the styrofoam is not, it, the hole is not as big as the one we just made, your candle is going to end up sitting on top of here. See, I'll show you. It's not going to go any further than this, which is fine. It'll give it something to sit on. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring this over here. Let's do it right here so you can see. Okay, so I'm going to get another glue stick. And for those of you who don't know, I, well, you probably, you, well, most of you guys know already. I use Gorilla Glue because it's the better glue that I've found. It's uh, it's awesome in cold weather and hot weather for all types of weather conditions. So in the cold weather, your stuff is not gonna fall off. In the hot weather, your stuff should not, I say should not, melt. This dog hair over here. It's one thing about having a black dog is you can see on a white thing, you can see. I might actually put some felt down in there. Down the bottom. I don't know. That's okay. I think we should be okay. Let me get my tweezers because I want to get some of these glue webs off the middle. I love my tweezers. They're like my second set of hands. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some These are 
here. I need a flat spot, so we're going to stick this right here. That's not bad either. My mat is so warped. Okay, I'm going to just do it right here. See? I need to get a new mat. Let's put this right here. There we go. That's a flat spot. And I don't want it close enough to my glue pot that everything starts hanging in there. So I'm going to take some floral pens and I'm start sticking them in here. You don't need too many, just a few. I'm going to put like one on each side, so just four of them. Oh, you know what I forgot too? I forgot my floral. I forgot my, hold on, I need my um, pick thing, hold on, stuff over here, move this cupcake, uh, oh, son of a, this thing is heavy, alright, I need my pick machine, because we're going to need it. So now, we're still going to need our floral pins. See, this is going to sit up here like this. Perfect, huh? Let's see, is there batteries in this? Nope. So I'll have to put batteries in this before I mail it. I'm going to mail the candle with it. Normally I don't, but I think it would be an added extra bonus. Okay, so... I just do this on the inside. So I'm gonna make this fairly flat. Now this doesn't make a, a complete mess like the loose moss does, but it's like a controlled mess. I don't know if that makes sense, but okay. So I'm gonna put about like that. Straight across, so I love this. and I'm not taking this off because it's a pain in the rear end. Watch, I'll show you. Watch now that I do this, it's probably gonna come right off. Yeah, see? I want it to come off all my feet, it doesn't do that, so I just then pick at it, and I'm not gonna. So I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it. Not the only way. Okay. So. I have to take some of this off. I'm going to vacuum this weekend. So. I'm going to start. I want this on the other side too. Okay. So I'm just going to wrap it around like this put some in the inside as well okay I'm gonna put one owl we're gonna have to cut these all right so we're gonna have to cut these because they're too long you don't have to cut too much off of them okay because it just poked me from the other side there we go hand when you're doing that or these will start flying all over the place and if you can't find them you're going to step on it. Okay, so I'm going to put this one down here. This one I'm not going to cut but I'm going to put eye underneath. Okay. And I'm going to kind of cut this right here and cut it up here. And I'll show you why I do that because it's going to be easier to fold. Okay. And just like that. I might just take I don't think it'll be okay. I'm trying to think because I don't want too much inside or it's gonna And put like 
this. This is going to make a mess, you guys, so be prepared. But I would much rather use this sheet <coughs> than that loose moss because it's okay in the ass. Literally. worry too much about the bottom but I do want it secure what I might do is I might cut these one I might cut the inside and um, put felt on the inside because I'm afraid this moss is gonna be too thick and my candles aren't going to fit. there was going to be enough but there's like this little spot that's like that wide that's missing piece of okay. to put back there. For Carson's bowling again. Okay. Take these. And just pull it under. So I'm going to pull this one out. I'm just going to cut along top. Actually, I know what I'll do. Then I can put it like that. I 
show you what I'm going to do. Because I want to put it on this lip right here. Okay. I am making an ultimate mess. But what you want to do in order to do that is like make little slits in it. Because uh, it's going to be easier to fold down. Okay. And then when we're done with this, I'll see if my candle still fits. See how much easier it is to fold it over when you make the slits in it? So much easier. Now when you're pulling it up, you want to pull it up tight too, so it's tight around the side. Mm, just like that. Let's see, I have a small piece right here. so much for covering this piece up right here, but I'm going to do it. There. Okay. Now, I bet you this is not going to fit. I'm going to squish it in there. Come on. I made it fit. I'm going to save that piece. Okay. Um, and I'm not going to put anything on the inside. not really pain, it's just messy. It's okay. It cleans up, right? over myself. It's probably all in my hair. Okay. There. That's what it looks like. Not too shabby. I'm going to pull this up even more. Okay. Alright. Now, let's stick this back in here so I can have some more room. I love this stuff. I use it for all my stuff that includes moss. It's just easier to handle. You can cut it. You can shape it. Okay. Now I can really guess. All right. So now I think I might start with some. I'm gonna start putting some florals in there. I'm not gonna put anything on the inside because it's already. Um,
too tight. I guess I can't talk today, so. I'm gonna start with, I love these, love these. I got these from Hobby Lobby, they're $13.99, but you get a bunch of flowers with these. Um, and you wanna get them when they're 50% off. I'm gonna start with a little bit of greenery, I think. Okay, I've got two different kinds. I got them both from Hobby Lobby. So I got this one. I'm gonna put these over here so you can see. Uh, this one is $6.99. Again, got it at 50% um, off. So the number on this one, W0367003. Oh, no, sorry. 1220177. Okay. And I got this one. Um, I got some hanging ones in there too. 1727497. I got those at Hobby Lobby. Let's see. I might be able to just hang these down like this and kind of curl it. Oh, I got some viney ones in the other room. Let me get those. I'm going to use those too. Uh, hold on. Just a second. Okay, I got some of these. I think these will be kind of pretty. Some hanging ones. Um, I got these from Hobby Lobby, three ninety nine. Not bad. You can get them fifty percent off. That means they're like a buck something. Five five eight nine nine nine. Okay, so I'm not gonna put this whole thing in here. I'm just gonna kind of see if I can separate this like maybe a couple at a time. These like to stick together. Let's see if I can do like three at a time. I'm just gonna cut these off. I have to put them in. The pick machine separate. So I'm gonna do like three at a time. Here. Okay, there we go. Okay. I love this pick machine for that reason. So I'm gonna kind of stick these maybe like maybe one on each side, like kind of down at an angle. Like this. Okay. So that way it kind of sticks out a little bit. Like that. Okay. And I think only one will do me. So I'm going to save the other one for something. Okay, so I'm going to take another three. Should be able to get enough out of here because I want three on each side. When you're putting these in, you want to put them down at an angle because you don't want to put them in because they're too long. You want to put them kind of down at an angle going this way. Otherwise, you're going to push it right through this and your candle's not going to fit. Plus, it's going to scratch up whatever candle they're using. Okay, just like this at an angle. You can push it through if you want. Let's see if I can push this one in. Nope, oh, that one's stuck in there. Okay. So I think I'm gonna just do three. I think three will be good.
Okay. All right. So, take the ends of this one and do the same thing. Just put them together fairly evenly. Now I got this pick machine at, come on, um, Hobby Lobby. They are kind of expensive, but they are so worth it. Any kind of tool you can have in your arsenal that makes it really things easier for you, I would invest in. Now, if you can't afford one because they are about 200 and some dollars, um, you can always see if there's one on, um, like, face, uh, the Facebook Marketplace, see if one's somebody selling for cheap. Uh, I shouldn't have pushed that one all the way in, but that's okay. Okay, there we go. So we got that one. Now, I want to take one of these and maybe put this one, like, right here. I'm going to cut this end off. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Just kind of bend it. Okay, right up here. Right in between the other two. Try not to get glue on you. Like I just did. But hey, I did not burn myself. I'm proud of myself. I did not burn myself. Okay. It's kind of you can bend these ones. Okay. That one. I need to get another as soon as I I need to get another mat. I keep saying, as soon as I get this, as soon as I get that, I just need to bite the bullet and get a new one. You know? Just, just do it. some greenery for something else. I like the little bushes of greenery like that because you can use them for so many different projects. I could probably use that one bush for like two more projects maybe, maybe three. So you get your money's worth out of it, <clears throat> especially if you get them 50% off, right? Okay, just kind of put it in diagonal, bend it. I'm kind of sticking up just a tad. There, just like that. So far, pretty, right? Can you just leave it when I'm done? Isn't that pretty? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> You're like, what? That's it. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of take one of these and cut them apart because I want some little. in here. What I might do is I might go ahead and put the flowers in here and then put the greenery in behind it. Okay, okay so I've got those. I'm going to put this over here in case I need some more. Alright, so let's get some flowers going, shall we? This has got some dahlias in it, it's got some roses in it, it's got some baby hydrangeas, some of this stuff in it. I love, love this bush. Oh, so pretty. Love it. Okay, I might use a green green here too. I don't know. They're kind of light, so. I'm going to leave the ends kind of short because... I need to put this on it, and that's still kind of long, so that's okay. See how it works? 
just like that. All right, so I wish they made little tiny. And maybe one on the other side. You can kind of bend it at the base to so kind of move it. And that's pretty. Love those. Okay. Love those. Let's put some of these pink little roses in here. Put these on this side. always tuck these down under a little bit more and you know with any florals if you're using glue it's you're gonna get glue webs everywhere okay so I'm gonna put one right there I'm gonna see if I can push these in without yep. okay I'm gonna not use that the one I'm just gonna use those on the ones that are smaller there we go. Just like that. I'm gonna put the little hydrangeas on the other side. starting to look pretty. I know it's got a long way to go. Let's see, isn't this kind of put this in there? Go in there. Doesn't look just like that. Now I'm not done because I know this looks kind of weird. <laughs> All right. So I do love these, though. Love these. I'll pull that up. Let's see, I kind of want to make these, cut these at the end a little bit. I want these kind of like right here underneath these dahlias, right there. There's that one. So I'm not going to use that. I'm going to save those for something else. Alright, let's see. I've got some of these. These are really pretty too. I love these bushes that they have. Um, these flower bushes they have at Hobby Lobby because they're so color coordinated. And you know, it takes the guesswork out of them. Like we got some green, some pink, some berries. They're gorgeous. So I'm going to take some of these green. And that's three of them. And it's got a little pink flower with it. So, let's see. If I do some right here. I just don't want this that long. Okay. 
and pull that up so I can cut that a little bit more. one here and one right here I think I'm gonna put one right here and one right here okay so I'm trying to make a little even because I've only got three of these oh well <laughs> that's funny okay so let's put these back on dang them I'm just going to stick this one back on and put glue on this one. And then put it back on. There we go. Now I can pull this one up. Okay. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. I'm like, crap! My flowers are flying around. Okay. glue all over my hands. That's all right. Okay, there's that one. I was going to do another one like right here. I think. Let's see. One there, there. Let's do one right here into these rows. Okay, we just won't pull so hard on this one. <laughs> Some of these and stick these right up in here, right between here. Got some airiness. I was gonna stick these right in here. So I got the greenery on it. Pretty, 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 pretty. All right, let's see. I got two, three of those. I told you it never fails when I'm doing a live or anything like that. My dog barks. I'm sure there's like a van or something outside she's flipping out about. She does not like the FedEx man, the UPS man, any delivery person. So that includes Amazon. And anytime she sees a white van, she starts freaking out. Okay, so now I'm going to kind of put some of these 
in there. I'm leave these kind of long. I'm gonna put these right here. I'm fold this over like this, so you can get the glue on it without getting the petals on it. Okay, I'm gonna stick these right in between these flowers. Now it's all about filling in the gaps. Okay, you got your major flowers in. I'm gonna stick one right there. It's hard to get these to fold over because it leaves there. I'm not gonna fight you all day long. <laughs> there, I win. <laughs> I win. Right there. So we've got one here, and we've got one there. Let's put one right here. And I've got four of them, so that makes it perfect. Right, so let's see, I've got one there on this side. So we're going to put one right here. I'm not going to fight you people. There we go. It's just I know it's going to try to get in my glue. There we go. Don't let your flowers win, guys. Don't let them win. There. This one right there. Okay, this up is a bad spot. I'm going to put this in a different spot. Because it does not like it there. Actually, what I could do is I could put it more underneath. Right here. Go in. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now, I've got three of these. I'm going to use these. throw that away because I'm not going to use those. Alright, so I'm going to kind of put these underneath as a filler. Push that down just a tad more. The glue webs hanging from every which way. There you go. I burn myself every single time. Grab that one. Oh, let's see, we got one there. Bring one there. Oh, 
let's put one like right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're basically, you know, once you get most of the stuff in, you're filling in holes. glue on my nails is trying to my nuts. How did that happen? There. Put that down a little bit. Because I want the flowers to shine through. I don't want the greenery. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. She will not stop dirt working. Damn it. Every freaking time. Just what I thought. She was barking at a van. Running around the neighborhood. Okay. Now. I'm going to point these down just a little bit more. Get these a little bit more symmetrical. I said it doesn't have to be perfect, but clean the glue up webs off as I go. About glue using a glue pot as you get glue webs everywhere. Okay, now we got some danglies. So I got a little bit of this. I don't know why I only got one of these. Oh, sorry, I guess you always want to see, right? What am I thinking? All right, so these are like little baby's breath type thing. I love these. Um, I got these at Hobby Lobby. They're dollar ninety nine. These never go on sale. Okay, the item number is one five six four two nine three, but it's a dollar ninety nine, so it's still pretty good buy. Cause I separate these. These are um, have a little bit of a. they the stems are really flimsy, so you're gonna want to use the seal pick for this. Okay, so I'm gonna get five of them off of here. Okay, so I'm just gonna steel pick. I'm a little too close to the glue. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put these like straight down. Okay, just like that. A little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna stick this one right here. Um, actually, it's right here. I don't want it so close to the the other one. I want some sitting up a little bit on top so it kind of is hugging the candle. So that's why I'm putting these one up on the top. I'll show you what that looks like with the candle in there. It's going to be really pretty. Like I said, you don't have to get such a big candle. Um, what I would do is I would buy the rings and then go to the candle section right afterwards and um, put 
your candle inside there. That way you know how big you need it. But like I said, I bought mine separate. So lesson learned, right? Okay. These in there like that. These are a little close together, whatever. So then they go in like this. I'm gonna clean this candle off. See how it just hugs the. I like it. I'm gonna have to clean that off before I put it. Okay, so now um, I got a bit of yellow to put in here. No, man, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I want to do I'm cut this down at the bottom. I got these at Hobby Lobby. And where is my tag? Here it is. This was $12.99. Um, item number 1212232. But I like it. It's got, it's got the little berry things on it, it's got the flowers. These are really pretty. I'm just going to kind of stick these underneath. Okay, just like that. Okay. Where is it? Is it pretty with the yellow? I'm going to go with the yellow. So I'm going to put some of the beady things down at the bottom, I think, with these dangles. And I'm probably going to put some of these at the top. Oh, that didn't work. Ow. Okay. Sometimes these don't get to be a little... Okay, let's try two together at the same time. These are really, really thin stems, so... Sometimes it's hard for the. There we go. I kind of stick these at the top. Kind of angle because I can always bend them. Um, there we go. Just like that. I like the little bit of yellow in it because um, it just makes it pop instead of having so much of the pink. Okay, let's see. Alright. together okay so we got that one there here here and Love it. The only thing I don't like about doing florals is the glue. It's everywhere. Okay. A little bit of yellow there, a little bit of yellow here. I'm not going to use all of this because it's a lot. I'm just saying. I might use this one. There's a problem on this one. Oh, that 
came out. Damn it. Okay, that one came out. We will put that back in. You are going in. glue just wraps around these little leaves. I'm trying to get as much of it as I go along. Okay, let's do these two. The thing with florals is even though it doesn't look like a whole lot when you're putting the florals in, it look, kind of looks like a, a mess, right? You're like, it's, something's not looking right. Once you start putting in the small greenery, it's going to look totally different. Okay, so I want one more over here. It happens to me every time. I'm always looking at like, I don't know if I like this. And then I start putting in a little green area where they're sticking out, poking out everywhere. And I'm like, that's much better. Much better. Here we go. All right, then I got a little bit. Let's see. These. And one of these, and that'll be enough yellow. I'm picking glue off my thumbs forever. That didn't work very well, did it? <laughs> these things can be really, really sensitive. Let's stick this one in right here. Separate a little bit. There we go. There. See? Got a little bit of yellow going on. I look pretty with the yellow pops in there. I'm not going to sit here and pick up this glue all night because I'm sure that's what you wouldn't see me do is just sit here and pick up glue, right? Okay, so now we got some of these. I love these. These are pretty. These I got at Hobby Lobby too. They're $9.99. I might want to put some of these down on the bottom in between the yellow. And these bend too, so you can kind of play with them. You don't want to bend them too much or they can't start sticking out everywhere. Okay, I'm going to start getting underneath. Okay, there's that one. I need a drink. I've got some little wispies down here too, but I think I'm going to make them a little shorter so they're not hanging down so low or so far. And he's got the little beads on too. Got these. I'm not real keen on these leaves, but that's okay. These will go in between the yellow. Okay. 
Looking pretty. So pretty. Okay. I got that one there. Put that one there. Kind of spread them out just a tad so they're not so close together, they're not so packed together like they're squished. There we go. Not fill up with something. Okay, I'm gonna put one right there. Got these little um, ball things I'm gonna put on there too. Okay, I'm gonna put all these together. could put a bow on this if you want to but there's really with all this hanging down you're really not going to see it um, and it's going to just take more away from all the flowers that are in here sometimes you just don't need a bow I know I said that right sorry I was swearing guys <laughs> okay now I only got three of these little things, so... And these are all wired, so you can kind of... Let's see. Put these in between the baby's breath. Oh, that looks pretty up there. one right here so I'm just gonna stick it right here. There we go. Starting to look gorgeous. I'll save these for some milk. Now these got some more pink little wispies. Um I'm just gonna kinda hang these down a little bit. hanging too far down like that I'm gonna have to move this over just a tad I feel like I'm about ready to get inside my glue Yeah, 
That's that one. Put some right there. They have these in different colors, so you don't have to use the same colors I'm using. Um, you can definitely use some more purples, some more blues, whites, you know, greens, whatever color floats your boat. Spread them out a little bit. Come on, here you go. Okay. Another one right there. Then after this one, we're just going to put some greenery in, and then we're kind of done. I may get a different uh, candle, but I may not. It depends what I feel like. There's that one. I don't know, it just fell over. Oh. My car, hold up. There we go. Ribbons about ready to fall on the table. There we go. Okay. Where's my short one? There we enough of that. Alright, well, what I do have, I do have some of these little white ones. Hold on. Hold on. I love these white ones. There's a little bit of white in here. Kind of fill up the top a little bit. I love these. I get them at um, Hobby Lobby in the little section. Um, where I get the floral accents. Again, $1.99. I put these in a lot of different things. They're great fillers. I'm not even gonna take them apart. Cause I want the little cluster. Okay, I'm just gonna stick it right in the... Just like this. in between right here. There, isn't that cute? There's little clusters right there. I needed something at the top. And the white, it's nice to have a little bit of white in there. Right behind this dahlia. Yeah. And then we'll put the other one right there. There's a spot missing right there. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not going out there. She can bark. Dog barks at everything. Come on. Why do they do this with these stupid stickers?
I'm sorry when I got glue all over my fingers. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's cut the base of it. Okay, put a little bit of glue. I don't need a whole lot, just something to hold it on the inside. Put this right here. This. I'm gonna put some greenery right there too, so. Come on. These are those same flowers that I put in my uh, blue and white wreath. I did not too long ago. I'm just gonna put this one right here. Oh, there. Now, see when you put this in there, have all these flowers around it. I might get a big, smaller candle. I don't to fight with it. <clears throat> there. Not pretty. Now I gotta do. I'm gonna get a smaller candle. I'm going to put some of these in there. I love these little ones. Like these little tiny ferns. They're so cute. Again, I got these in the same section and I got those little white ones. $1.99. I may only use one of these. We'll see. Okay. All right, now I'm going to start putting in the rest of the greenery. I think I'm going to put this one right here. I find this flower. Oh. oh, that came out. Gee, many Christmas. made these picks a little bit smaller so you don't have to eat some of so long. I'm afraid they're going to go through the other side. Alright, so that's some there, but we need something to fill up that spot. Get one of these. I might see if I can cut it. So, let me see if I can cut this. Yep. Alright, let's see if that works, because I don't want it so long. I don't want it poking through the other side. There we go. That works. I have to put another flower right there. Oh, I don't know. We don't think. Me. I talk to myself all the time. I'm just gonna stick this right here. Let's keep right there. I got this one. I will make it shorter. Let me stick this right here. There we go. That's better. Okay. I got another one if I need to, so. It's easier when I cut them.
I like those little ferns on there, they're pretty. Okay, I need one more. See how much different it starts looking once you put the greenery in? I don't know, I might put the rest of it in. Might as well, I only got three of them, right? I'll go and take off all these glue webs once I get done. Let's see, I want to kind of, oh, where is it? <laughs> Decided not to attach. That's fine. I'll get another one. <clears throat> there we go. And I'm going to just stick this one underneath. You know what would be really pretty in this too is some wisteria. That would be so pretty. I got this big clump of stuff right there. Alright, so I got that one there. Put this one up right here. Underneath this big fat mess. Get to it. Basically, you're just filling in the spots that you can see are kind of bare. This one I need to cut. So I'm going to stick that one right there. Uh, the hole right there it needs something done guys. Gonna put in a little bit more greenery and done. Put one in right there. Right in between these flowers. Get in there. There we go. There we go. Let's kind of flip that. 
need some right there. Might take some of these big leaves too and put them in there. So these leaves, these smaller ones, are not filling up like I wanted them to. We'll see what it looks like when I get done. I might kind of thin that out a little bit. Looks like a big bush in there. Got these at trends and gyms no I got this one at Hobby Lobby that's right got I think I'm gonna take some off of this one right here um, so much going on it's like there we go it's like too much of a bush some leaves right there. A little too bushy right there. I kind of thin it out. Put this on this side. some leftover of these. These are pretty. I might put these in there. Oops, I don't like that much. There's that. There we go. A little rosebud. 
I love these leaves. I might use these too. A little blue in here. That's where these flowers are. Kind of fills up that spot a little bit. This one does not want to cooperate and it's the kind of yaw. There we go. They're laying there, might as well use them, right? Alright, that's not going to come out, I don't think. put in some of these leaves because I love these leaves. And I have four of them so it'll give them a little bit of something extra. And I love them because they're wired. So we'll just put it right here. There. Looks good right there. Is that glue hanging off my hands? <laughs> Driving me nuts. <sighs> this is obnoxious. Go ahead and put one of these right there. There's an empty spot right there that just greenery cannot fill, so I'm just going to stick a flower right there. There we go. Okay. And I'll put a piece of leaf right there. I'm going to stop touching everything with the glue. There. Okay, I got little flowers hiding around in there. You put little butterflies in here too, it would be really pretty. I'm just going to cut this. Go in there, let's put one like right here. I wish I had more of them. I mean, I do have more of them, but back there somewhere. Okay, and I got a little leaf right there. Let's put one right here. That's good. 
might put this one up at the top. I don't have any greenery at the top. Wait till you guys see what we're going to do on our next project. Woo, so excited! I've been wanting to do this for Valentine's Day, but that's going to look good even though it's not Valentine's Day. And do it for every day. One more. Daddy's home. I can hear Chicky jumping around out there. Good timing. Alright, I think this will be the last one. And we will be done, my friends. I'll show you what it looks like. I can get all this glue, hands. There we go. I think it looks awesome. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off. This off. Alright. Okay. Alright, there we go. Now, I'm going to put this in here, and then i got to clean all these glue webs out. There's so many. Okay, let me stick this in here. Hair all over it. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna pan up so you guys can see. I'm gonna hold it up for you. Okay. Isn't it turn out really pretty? Love it. This needs to go down. Just a sad. Next tutorial, we're going to be doing the, it's going to be a surprise. I'll show you. So, it'll be for Saturday's tutorial. And I will, it's going to be a little bit of a surprise. Okay. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. Alright, you guys. So, thank you for always your support. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything, let me know. And I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. If you're needing help with um, anything like colors or ribbon or anything like that, let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. I know some of you have already reached out to me before for help on things. And I love helping you guys. So don't feel you, you can't ask me anything. Um, so I can't wait to show you what we're going to do next. Bye guys.